All right, guys, what's going on? Another video for you. Um, this is for custom firmware 6.xx, uh, so whatever custom firmware of 6. Point whatever, so like 3.5 or 2.0 or 3.9, um, this is for those custom firmwares. Um, this is a POPS patch. It's a POPS loader. It's just like the old SE plugin um, to run PS1 emulated game. ISOs or eboots that have been converted um, over the web. So um, yeah, so what you can do is we're uh, gonna take our PSP running on six point whatever firmware. Um, mine is on six three nine, and we're going to open up the uh, US. We're gonna activate USB mode. <clears throat> Ow, my throat hurts a little bit. <sighs> Ow. Anyways, so what we're gonna do is open this up. Wrong thing. Go to your computer and open up the removable drive and leave it at that. What you're gonna do is the file I'm gonna have you download is right here. It's the pops bridge. Double click on that or right click and extract the files and um, you're gonna see a pops bridge folder. Open that up and you're gonna see the pops bridge .prx. and if you see the readme text it'll show how to install. So we'll just take a quick look at this, and that's as simple as that. So what you're going to do is simply you're just going to read this. Install the new Pops loader for Pro in your memory stick. Copy Pops, Pops Bridge PRX at memory stick and add plugin patch at Pops text. So what you're going to do is you're going to use your old pops loader which is the se plugin and simply do this you're going to come over here and you're going to open up your se plugins folder now you will see that the pops loader is right there what you're going to do is take your extracted files like so you can exit that now you're going to take the Pops Bridge PRX and drag and drop that into the PSP's memory stick. Now what you are going to do is take the readme text document like this. And you're going to take the um, bu -bu 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 take the MS0 colon forward slash se plugins forward slash pops brids prx right click on that and copy and you're going to come to the pops text document and what you're going to do is control v and paste that so you can hit control v or right click and just say paste paste that into the pops text document in your se plugins folder now going to do let me see if I'm doing this correctly make sure I am yep okay now there you have it that's what it should look like. Ignore the CPU modulator thingy because I use that in Pops so that my games run correctly. Um, I have a video on that if you want to check that out. So uh, your Pops text should have the MS0 colon forward slash SE plugins slash Pops loader PRX space zero and also the MS0 colon slash SE plugins Pops underscore bridge PRX one. Show. Once that's done, you can exit that and hit save. And we can exit this pops loader. And now we can exit that. And now cancel USB mode by hitting the circle button. And what we're going to do is hold your power button up until the PSP turns off. And everybody asks, why do I do this this way? Because it's the most basic way, and all PSPs will be able to complete it this way without any problems. So, those people who ask me those questions, shut the fuck up. Now, hold down the R trigger and turn the power button on and you will come to your recovery menu. Now, this pops patch is for 
permanent custom firmwares. If you're on a flashed firmware pro or whatever on a PSP 3000 or go, I'm sorry, but this is not going to work. So you're going to go to plugins and you're going to scroll down until you see the pops bridge PRX. And if it's not enabled, enable it. And here it is enabled. So, and then also make sure that your pops loader is enabled. So enable your props loader and be sure that both of those are enabled. Now, going to go back, scroll up to back, and you should be rebooting with the Sony welcome screen like so. And now your PS1 games will work on 6.xx custom firmware. Preferably this is for ME, but it works on the other firmwares as well. So, <coughs> I will have the link in the text below. Rate, comment, subscribe, ask questions. I'll be happy to answer. That's what I'm here for. Be sure to check out my website and my blog site. I will have the links also in the text below. And, uh, yeah, so, take it easy, guys. Enjoy your PS1 emulated games on your PlayStation Portable, trustfully hacked by your friend Rob Papalo. That is what I do and what I enjoy doing, and I like making people happy and bringing more things to Sony, as though they try so many times. But yet, we suppress them greatly so take it easy talk to you guys later and have a good day